Hey, folks. So I think Harvey and uh, Josh said they're not going to come today. Yeah, that was my guess given uh, the um, security so we'll work. Wait a couple more minutes, and then um, I think there are there's at least one agenda item, and cool. uh, we can talk about that. But I don't know that this is going to be a super uh, informative meeting today. Fair enough. Are you okay running it? I actually have to duck out early, but I wanted to drop in in case Matt and Harvey could make it. And hopefully you can all hear me. Okay. Yep. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Probably critical mass. Um, is whoever added proxy protocol support on the call? Uh, yeah, I'm here. Cool. What are your thoughts? Dive into that. Um, sure. Uh, hi, I'm Braden. I am a software engineer at DigitalOcean, um, working on think, um, product needed. for um, load balancers as a service, um, and so we're. Um, kind of in the beginnings of the projects to um, kind of rework some the underlying architecture. Um, um, and so, this, I mean, so essentially this is a, I guess, customer facing product that is a managed service for L4 and L7 load balancing. Um, and so as kind of part of this investigative work to determine whether um, we switch to Envoy um, as kind of like the, the underlying uh, piece for kind of that L4 and L7, um, we would need to um, have support for uh, proxy protocol. Um, this is something that our current load balancer product um, supports. And so um, I guess I'm kind of curious. Uh, it seems like there's kind of, kind of a lot of back and forth. Um, there has been kind of work done on the upstream side. And um, it seemed like there's interest kind of maybe from the Google aspect, um, but it looks like some of that may be stale. Um, so just kind of wanting to maybe ask if anyone's maybe aware of work that's being planned or work underway um, for adding that. Um, and if not, then um, obviously, you know, if we, if we decided to go with Envoy, um, we would, um, you know, we would be fine, you know, adding that ourselves if, if that would be um, something that I guess the project would want or um, would accept into it, I guess. Yeah, I think I don't know offhand of anyone working on this, but I think it would be like a useful and generically useful thing to add. So I'd say, you know, fi file a GitHub feature request, and if you guys are willing to tackle it, then we'll sign it your way. Okay. So have you heard um, of, has anyone else heard of any work on this front? Yeah. So so yeah, I think I think it'd be totally useful. So if you guys are up for doing it, go for it. Okay. Yeah, I think that. You know, this works probably wouldn't start till um, you know probably until the new year, but um, I think we probably engage closer to then um, you know, when that work would be undertaken, um, and probably um, would you know whether you know, whether like a proposal is necessary or like an architecture design or um, or whatnot. Um, 
Yeah, I would, I would say just start with an issue and then generally what will happen is if people have concerns about how it might be implemented, I think proxy protocol is pretty straightforward, so I don't think it would be a big deal. But again, yeah. there might be tie-ins of other people who want to use it and make it extensible and then they can weigh in, you know, and back and forth and make sure that the APIs are, are clean enough. But I think, I think this one's probably straightforward. So you just open an issue and people would say like, go for it. And then you just give it a shot. All right, perfect. Um, that is everything. Thank you very much. Yeah. Does anyone else have anything they want to talk about while we're here? Um, I will just call out, obviously, there is a security release happening today, which is why we've lost half of the maintainers on the call. They're off, uh, you know, handling the CDs and doing the release process. Uh, so that'll land, I believe, in one hour. Um, for anyone who wants to pick that up, if you're running Envoys and Edge Proxy, it's always a good thing to do. Um, and if people, again, have questions of how to get on the early release list, there is documentation of, you know, becoming a maintainer or if you run Envoy, you know, kind of what the parameters are for, for getting on that list. I think I heard one other question. Oh, I, yeah, I, I was going to chime in if that's okay. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm Tony. I work at Lyft. Uh, I'm doing adaptive currency work right now. Uh, I, I just wanted to see if anybody uh, would be interested in like helping review the docs. Because uh, right now, I think it's just me and Matt. And uh, I don't know, it's a pretty low bus factor. I, I just wanted, I, I didn't want like someone to kind of jump into adaptive currency, take a look at like, you know, a few thousand lines of code and just get confused about what's going on. So, uh, yeah, I, I just wanted to know who, to, who I could wrangle in uh, to help with your documents. Um, yeah. I think we'll be interested in taking a look at it once it's got some more features to it. So I'd be happy to take a look at, at docs and things as you go along. Okay, cool. Is there, uh, like, what features were you hoping for, I guess? Uh, um, I think you had somebody chime in. We have somebody who wants to do sort of adaptive concurrency based on error rates. Okay. Um, and it sounded like that was sort of like a, a something that would get added later, like once you get the basic thing going. Yeah. Yeah. So, so instead of latency based, you just want like like a success rate based. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Cool. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's it. Also, I just hadn't been at the one of these meetings. Okay. Welcome. Back. Thanks. Absolutely. Cool. Anything else? We can adjourn early. Going once. Going twice. Okay. See you all in two weeks.